Hi guys, Patrick here with goldkilns.us. I finished up what I consider the torture test for the prototype of the KK-12. Um, KK-12 will be coming out shortly. Before I bring any of these furnaces out, I torture test them. And this one we put through a heck of a test. I wanted to show the inside a little bit here after we finished up. Basically once I built the kiln and I broke it in and did the liner maintenance thing, uh, we run a bunch of material through here. This stuff you see down here that's all cracked up, that's bone ash. I always put bone ash in the bottom of your furnace to protect it in case you spill some borax. But this is the outside of it. Here, down on the bottom, this is the middle ring, and the lid. Shot a little video the other day when we were using it, and what we were working with was we were working with the backs of mirrors, a sludge that come from the backs of mirrors. And I got a little bit of it right here. Just a gray black looking material. But it's basically almost pure silver oxide. So we started with 181 pounds of this material. And by the time we got it all dried out, we ended up with about a little over 150 pounds. So there was some impurities in it and I wanted to remove the impurities. So I fluxed it basically 100% by weight. In other words, 600 grams of the material went in the crucible along with 600 grams of flux. And the flux is a, it's kind of a green color after you fired it, pulled all the iron out and the sparkly shiny surface that you see on this is the, where the graphite crucible shed as they get worn and at any rate there's three five gallon buckets of flux and there's still a little bit of silver in here. I'll go through it again and get a little bit of the silver out of it. But there's, yeah, when you look through it every once in a while, you'll see a little bead. But there's not a whole heck of it. Most of that shiny graphite that you see on there. So we put a little over 300 pounds of material through the kiln. This is the mold that I use. This is a cast iron conical mold. It's eight inches in diameter and six inches deep. And you can see there's a little flux around there. And the KK-12 will take an A5 crucible, which is what I used. These are the A5 crucibles after I used them. I rotated them out. In other words, I'd use a crucible and fire it and pour it and let it cool. Mix the other crucible. And I started with 12. But one of them was looking pretty ugly and I got rid of it. So those were the crucibles that went through. And another a little shot of the kiln. Once it was broke in and I did the liner maintenance on it, it'll, it looks to me like it'll take another 300 pounds of material with no problem at all. So I'm really impressed with the performance of it. The burner is the same burner that's in the KK-8. 
Um, it's the bimetal burner. And it, we were running around 2,000 to 2,100 degrees. And propane consumption on it was less than a gallon an hour, which was pretty incredible. But I was real impressed with how well it performed. Also impressed with how long it's lasting. It's a pretty, pretty intense torture test. Over 300 pounds of material has been through it. And now the booty. This is what everybody wants to see, including me. Over here on this table, right here, are 100 ounce bars from the refinery, as well as some of the cone shaped pores that are going to go to the refinery for the final cleanup. Anyhow, some old Johnson Matthew bars here. And elemental. So we started out with a, a little over 150 pounds of that material when it was dried out and fluxed. And sitting here on this table is just under 137 pounds. Not too bad. I'm not at liberty to say much about the mirror sludge at this time, um, other than that's what it was. It was the material that comes off of the back of mirrors. So, just a final little shot. of what we done with the KK-12. KK-12 will be out for too long. We got some tooling to do for it and a couple of tweaks. I'll probably offer one with a dual burner for you guys that like to turn them up and vaporize everything. <laughs> anyway, KK-12 think you're going to like it. Thanks for watching.